Hello everyone, Krissa Chan here, and welcome to my playthrough of To The Moon. So, I am aware that Cryotic and PewDiePie did a playthrough of this, but because I read the reviews of this game before, before saying that it was a, a sad game, where to the point it makes you cry, I didn't watch either of them play it. But my friend convinced me to still play the game because I am quite an emotional person. So despite that, <laughs> sorry, despite that fact, she still wants me to play the game. So yeah, thanks, Dick. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I love her. So yeah, let's begin. Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. You ran over it anyways. Oh. You ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry, with a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is going to kill us. Hmm. We'll just say I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine. Whatever furball he fancies. Crisis averted. Good. Go write that on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. Left click an object to interact with it. Received equipment. Got the sucker. Let's roll. Right click to toggle menu or cancel. Characters Dr. Leo Watts, Technician Specialist Sigmund Corp, Dr. Eva Rosalind, Senior Memory Traversal Agent Sigmund Corp. Okay. Tisk tisk. Oh, come on. I crashed the car while trying to evade it. What more do you want? Not crash the car and evade it? That's asking too much. Hey, wait, don't forget the car. 
just wanted to see if you'd remember. How thoughtful of you. Who put a boulder here? Maybe it's their security system. Cucumbers. We don't have time for this fluff. Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with. Wind. Or we could just call it a night and blame it on that. Push it by hand, find a branch, or abort mission and go home. Fuck that. Let's push it by hand. Alright, on three. One, two, three. The fuck was that? I... I don't even... What was that? Not a boulder, that's for sure. We need to get going for now. We'll... We'll figure that thing out later. Right. from the beginning? It is. Ma, they're here. Not a bad place to retire at, huh? I could do better. Night shifts. Love them or hate them? You know the answer, you stupid owl. Probably gonna be another all nighter, you know. I know. And I doubt they'd have any coffee. Shut up. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through what you're blathering, they won't. And your eyelids will. Oh, that went by fast. Don't forget the equipment, moron. I don't get paid enough for this. Act 1. I never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. Dr. 
Dr. Watts and Dr. Rosalind, I presume? Thanks for coming on such a short notice. That's okay. I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. What? Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I am just his caretaker. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a 9 to 5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man? Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no, he just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. Come on, grab that, grab that case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. Received equipment. Alright, let's head upstairs before I drop this. Go upstairs. Yes. Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. No fair, you pushed me. Did not. Whatever, you get the boring two notes anyway. Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who is carrying the weight of the small meteoroid. Yeah, yeah, come on. Ready to set up? Set machine down, look around first. The sh set machine down. Yes, it'll just be a moment. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries, where are the experts?
Oh crap. Standard procedures. Just keeping you on your toes. How is he doing? Not so well. If I were to say he's got just a day or two left. That's plenty of time. So you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try, at least. But we always succeed because we're awesome. So, what's the wish? The moon. The moon? The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geezers just keep getting crazier, huh? So, can you do it? It depends. She meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That, I don't really know much. Johnny's an odd man. Through the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paperboy for Pete's sake. Shush, just do your thing. I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind since he signed for you too. Hmm. So be it. Alright, which one of us plays detective? Who goes to search the house? Dr. Watts or Dr. Rosalind? Not to be sexist, but since I'm a girl, I'm going with Dr. Rosalind. Thanks for the offer, but I'm busy leaving a butt print on this chair. Right. Do continue. Tommy and Sarah can show you around. They're probably at the piano downstairs. Okay guys, I'm gonna end this part right here. Because, to be honest, I have not been keeping up with the time, so I don't even know how long this part is. But... Yeah. Thank you for watching if you did. And to be honest, I don't know how many parts I'm going to do, so if you don't mind the multiple parts I have of this game, then yeah, please do keep watching, and I apologize if I'm not the best commentary person, <laughs> because I honestly don't know what to say at some point, so instead of saying something stupid, I might as well just keep quiet. So, yeah, I'm just gonna keep... <laughs>
stop talking right now. And again, thank you for watching in. See you soon.